I'm Laura Trevelyan in Washington, and this is BBC World News America. President Zelensky has called on the US to do more to prevent the destruction of Ukraine in a speech to American lawmakers. In the besieged city of Mariupol, hundreds are feared dead after a theater where civilians were sheltering is bombed. Meanwhile, in Kyiv, the shelling continues as Russian forces target a residential building. A strict curfew is now in place. Here in Washington, Congress gave Ukraine's President Zelensky a hero's welcome, and President Biden pledged another 800 million in military aid. It's about making sure Ukraine never will never be a victory for Putin, no matter what advances he makes on the battlefield. We have a special report from Afghanistan's remote Helmand province, where malnourished children are dying from hunger. Without foreign funds, we've seen on the ground that public health care has pretty much collapsed. Welcome to World News America on PBS, the UK and around the globe. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has made an emotional appeal for more American help in the war against Russia. 21 days into the invasion. In a live address to the US Congress, Mr. Zelensky repeated his plea for a no-fly zone to stop Moscow from turning Ukraine's skies into, in his words, a source of death. Tonight in Washington, President Biden has called Vladimir Putin a war criminal over his invasion of Ukraine. Inside Ukraine itself, Russia's relentless attacks continue. In besieged Mariupol, a theater where over a thousand people are said to be hiding has been bombed. And Russian shelling has targeted a residential building in Kyiv, a city which tonight is under a curfew, with thousands confined to shelters. Our first report tonight is from Jeremy Bowen in Kyiv.